Okay then, so this is Cannon Spike. This is a bizarre fusion of Shmup and Roller Skate Gang. It's um, published by Capcom, developed by Sikio, who have um, done quite a few shooters on the Dreamcast and Assassin. And then let's take a look at it, because it's really, really weird. Now I've got a few issues with my um, TV at the moment. I've just literally got a new RGB SCART lead, and for some reason it's shunting the picture quite far over, so I've had to um, stick this on full free mode. But um, anyway, let's, um, let's take a look at it. And um, it's quite fun, it's not amazing, but it's quite enjoyable. Now these are your characters. Obviously that's Charlie from um, the Street Fighter series. Sir Arthur from Ghouls and Ghosts. Not sure who this guy's from. Um, Cammy's obvious, and, uh, and again, I think they're exclusive. Oh, I didn't want her. So um, yeah, so basically the idea is just shoot everything, really. It's quite a nice looking game, it looks a lot better under VGA obviously, but, um, oh god I'm trying to remember how to play it. Right then, so, now interestingly, you'd think that this would have um, Robotron style controls, but it doesn't. So I think the way it works is that you, um, you work, you work out which way you want to shoot. And then basically by pressing it again, you lock it into place. So not ideal, really. But it's um, it's nevertheless quite good fun. So I, mean, I was in totally the wrong direction there. There's a special weapon. Nice. Helicopter taken out. Straight to a boss. And as you can see, it's going to transform into a big robot in a minute. Another familiar um, trait of a lot of Sikio games. Oh Christ, I'm not going to worry about this at all. No, oh, that was a waste. Ah, look, look at that. Right, basically by holding on, by holding down the left trigger, provided I don't get killed like I did there, it seems that you can lock on. Like I said, it's been quite a while since I've played this, so um, I'm just try again. Da -da -da, put in my name. As you can see, there's a big, huge black bar on the right hand side of the TV. Bit annoying. But I guess that's, that's what happens when you play these older systems on brand new TVs, they can't always handle it. Right, that's um. Now interesting, there's two secret characters and you can activate them. All you need to do is push left and right. So there's Mega Man. And there's BB Hood. So let's go with um, BB Hood. And let's see if I can... Um, and there she is on a, on a roller, roller skateboard thing as you would be. So as you can see now, I'm locked, I was locked onto it there and providing... I don't get hit by anything, you'll continue to lock onto the character until they're dead. So I'm going to get the hang of it again now. So it's, it's nice and fast and frantic. Um, you, can, you can no doubt tell why I enjoy it. I think we're going to see um, Vega from Street Fighter in a minute. And you've got a close attack, there you go, using her handbag. Nice. Cool explosions, and off we go, yeah, here we go. Oh, some robot dies. Yeah, I will kill you. Ken Brown, Rick Blue, and Bob Green. Nice um, imaginative names there, Sikio, well done guys. Nice, there we go, that's one of them out of the way. There's another one gone. Come on you bugger, oh look how much damage you took there, nice. So there we go, level complete. And on to the unholy dwelling. Capcom um, brought out a surprising amount of games on the Dreamcast. There was obviously a fair few Street Fighters, 
They had stuff like um, Resident Evil 2, 3 and Code Veronica. So um, I'm really keen on obviously collecting them all. But yeah, this, this is one of those games where it's not really... To be fair, I probably wouldn't pay any more than 25 quid for this. Because um, it's just harmless railway for fun really. But it is one of those games which is slowly starting to become harder and harder to get, to get hold of on eBay. And when they do appear, they're normally quite pricey. So, um, you know, if you are thinking of starting up a Dreamcast collection, get it sooner rather than later. Oh look, it's a bio-gorilla. Oh shit, come on you. Oh. So yeah, I mean, I think, I, I don't understand why they didn't just use Robotron style controls on this, so you use the face button to fire, because it'd give you a lot more, um, a lot more manoeuvrability. But, you know, what do I know? I just, um, I just review games for a living, I certainly don't make them. Oh shit. Nice, got some energy there. So this guy doesn't seem to be that much of um that much of a castle, so he's quickly going down. Come on, look at that, nice. Should be able to get another level than this, right? It's obviously a two-player game. So um, if you've got a friend at hand, it's, um, you, you can make a lot better progress than what I'm currently managing at the moment. But yeah, if you, know, if you, if you go into this not, not expecting too much, then um, you'll probably be pleasantly surprised by it. But considering, to be fair, considering the, um, the heritage of some of Sikio's games, this is, this is a little disappointing. I think, I think the Capcom love you know, if this was just like a selection of characters you've never heard of, you probably wouldn't um, want to persevere with it um, anywhere near as much. Oh, the, um, the Capcom characters definitely sell it for me. Oh, come on, you nearly dead helicopter. Nice, there he goes. Oh, look at that, I took, the, took out the smaller ones as well. Ah, we, we met this guy a minute ago, didn't we? Oh, look at that, dead, one hit. So um, yeah, there you go then guys, that's um, Cannon Spike. And we'll um, have a look at another Capcom game very, very soon. In fact, right after this video, because I'm going to put it on now.